Okay, I got my new throttle cable installed here. So let's uh, crank it and uh, see how the gas pedal feels. Can't argue with that. I like it. Okay. So that gets me back to where I was before is uh, hooking up the voltage regulator after putting a 12 volt battery and 12 volt generator on here. As you remember, I've got all the fuses pulled out of this thing. First thing I'm going to do is make sure this is charging. And uh, this generator setup is probably pretty temporary, but it should work from there if I wire everything properly. And that'll give me a good opportunity to kind of make sure everything's working before I go to moving things around and reorganizing and such as that. Um, Dead Eye Dan brought me another voltage regulator and one of those big clamps and I actually went to town to the Napa store and they had uh, some of those big clamps. I got some of them from them. So basically I think I got everything I need to wire this thing. So I'll go ahead and wire the voltage regulator and then we'll get out a uh, ohm meter. Is that what you call that thing? An ohm meter? We'll get out a meter and test it and see if it's charging, and then we'll go from there. Okay, I've now installed the voltage regulator to the generator and tested it and it's not working. And the way I tested it is that I um, basically cranked the engine, pulled the hot cable off the battery and the engine went dead. If the generator was working, the engine would keep running because it would run off the generator. With that said, the uh, regulator I used was the old one that uh, I got from Russell and it looked quite crappy to be honest with you. Uh, Dead Eye Dan brought me... <sighs> A newer, uh, another one that looks like it's in a lot better shape. So I'll throw it on there and we'll try that.